Right, hello guys, something a bit different. We are on Dark Forest and we are going to make this into a thriving farm. So I need to relocate down to here because this is where this is gonna be where we're gonna start. Um all right, yeah, it's not gonna let oh there we go. Bingo. Right. This is where we're gonna start. We're gonna start our farm down here. Going to log log the map, take the trees out. I say log the map. We're going to cut down all the trees, make fields, have animals, and uh, see if we can turn it into a thriving farm rather than just a desolate forest. <coughs> we do have some starting equipment, but we're not going to be using that. We're not going to be using this stuff. Oh, boy, our area. Uh, which is that one? And then we're going to buy some equipment. So if we just go over here a little bit and then do that and we'll get the shop to deliver it down to us while we're down here so the machine I'm going to go for logging machine is a modded one I've got um, that one I'm going to have it in blue with yellow wheels there we go look at that nice isn't it I'm going to buy that We are going to have an auto load log trailer because I can't stack logs for shit. Basically, I didn't know what I was going to add on to that, but I just want to say that on the end of it. Uh, so we're going to have that one. It's going to be a 12 meter log trailer. What wheels? Here we go. Buy it. And that. Oh, we need a truck, don't we, to pull it? Um. I haven't got much in the way of modded trucks. Might do with a standard in-game one for now then. Uh, we don't want GPS on it. We have wide tyres. Because it is a forest area, so it's probably going to struggle to get out. And buy. And we will buy. That's going to get rid of our stumps. And again, we're going to have it in the blue. There we go. And buy that. Alright, that's our equipment to start with. Let's jump in and uh, we'll get cracking on the map. This is going to be just a temporary map, guys, while I wait for the um, update to come out for um, the Valley of the Old Farm. I was trying to think what I could put in its place temporarily, so I thought I'd uh, try and do an episode on this and see how it goes down with you guys, you the viewers. See if you enjoy it or not. If not, then I won't do any more. But, you know, it's just something I like. I like doing every now and again. If I don't want to do proper farming, I just jump into a log machine and go and munch some logs and see if I can turn a logging map into a um, arable map, you know, farm map, so, um, oh, let's do the settings, well, you know what they are, it's going to be easy, real time, uh, don't do seasons, not on this one, I prefer the original seasons, there we go, sorted, right, Oh, I know what I do need to do. Uh, let's just change. I'm doing 12 meter logs. Jump into curb. Yeah, 
this is the one I can't see very well in cab. I've got all the controls set up on my side panel, so. And what we are going to do is we're going to buy that uh, sawmill there as well, make some planks. And turn these into planks. So you could say we've already got our first production, or we will have. We're going to go into plank production. We're going to want quite a bit of money to uh, make our fa build our farm out here. It's going to need tractors. We're going to need animals. We're going to need trailers, um, cedars, and all the usual stuff that goes with it. Not to mention um, making the fields from scratch. Do you know what I mean? Well, I won't do it from scratch. I'll use coarse clay to make the fields. And then we can get on with other things while that's doing that. Wonder why that wasn't cutting them for a minute. Yeah, I've got all the controls on the side panel for the uh, logging. So yeah, like I said, this is just a temporary replacement while I'm waiting for the update to come out for um, va the valley of the old farm because of got having to start from scratch, having to start a fresh save all over again, so I might as well just hold fire and wait for the update to come out. Hopefully it won't be too long. Right, I'm going to go ahead guys and uh, cut a large portion of these trees down and uh, I will return once um, once we've got a few for the uh, for the trailer and uh, a few to be sold and then we'll come, I'll come back and we'll buy the sawmill to make our planks and we'll put our first load of logs in for sale. So. Um, I would start to see you in a minute. It's going to be in a minute for you, but it's going to be a while for me, so uh, I'll see you in a minute. Right, we are back, guys. I've cleared quite a large, um, quite a large area already. It actually didn't take long at all. I, I do like a bit of logging when it's on the side panel, not so much with the mouse, and that seems a bit slower, but when I've got it on the side panel and that, I do like a little bit of logging. I'm really glad they introduced that into farm sim because I do like logging. Right, so let's just sort this out. Oh, whoops. Ah, of course. Forgot about that. That button is on one of my uh, screen buttons. I'll have to remember that. Sorry about that, guys. Is that an invisible log bin? Who knows? What's that saying then? Where'd that? Sometimes I get an invisible log. It's happened on one of the two of the um, logging maps I've been on. I seem to get an invisible log that loads on. you stay still when you're loading logs like this but I can't load logs manually some of them guys you see doing this sort of thing they make it look well easy now I'm 
stuck. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to use super strength to get unstuck. Whoops. Oh dear. That quite didn't go how I wanted it to. Didn't quite go how I wanted it to. Never mind. We'll reload. Oh, they're going to go all over the place now, aren't they? Oh. Why is that doing that? Oh. Right, there we go. Sorted. have to unload the whole fucking trailer before it unloads that one log. Yeah. So first look. And our first lorry load of logs. Yeah, this is something I like doing when I'm not um, doing other map proper proper farming maps, you know. I quite like a bit of logging. I know some people don't like it, but I, I quite like it. Right, we're going to buy this and make some planks. And the first animal I'm going to get is going to be sheep, guys, because we've got stacks of grass on this map. So, let's turn that on. That's our first production of the new map. And it's active already, so that's why I don't need to turn it on. Cool. So I think I'm going to go and get sheep first as our first animal because, like I said, there's there's plenty of grass here for the taking. So. I got on load when I was um should have turned it off load first before I got in position. Can't blame the truck this time, that was my fault. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Jack knows him for some reason. So as you can see, in that short space of time, I've got rid of quite a few logs. Quite a few trees then, shall we say. Fill that sawmill, you know, to start off with. Oh. Stuck under a log. Come on, move that log out of the way. Not to 
It looked a bit uncomfortable there, so I unstrapped it and restrapped it. We do have to put a cell point in as well, so we've got to find somewhere to build a cell point. Because strangely enough, even though it comes with a sawmill that does um, planks, there is actually nowhere to sell it. There's no sawmill at, there's no sell point at all. Which seemed a bit odd because, you know, they put a production in but not put a sell point in so you could sell it. Just seems a bit odd that, but oh well, hey ho. sell your trees there but you can't there's no point buying it because if you haven't got a sell point then you can't sell your planks which seems a bit I don't know seems a bit odd to me but yeah I do like relaxing with a bit of logging Especially if I had a stressful day at work and I'm not um, not streaming or recording, I just sit and play a login map. Hopefully, I'm gonna be. Hopefully, this is not going to go wrong because I want to put all these logs on this trailer. Now if I go, there's one more over there. Now if I push F7, that will tell me if I've left any trees behind. No, we haven't. So we have got them all. And all the stumps are gone as well. I never thought, I bought a stump grinder. But, um, if you've got the easy dev controls there's a function in there for removing stumps so I don't know if that's cheaty or or what but I have been using it I don't know if you class that as cheaty or what Looks like we are full. Yep. Uh, yep, we're full on them. Oh, I see. It's already sending them to a PGA, but there is no PGA. Whoa, 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 what's it doing? Sending them to PGA. I don't want them. Why has this all changed? Because you used to be able to just store them. Now you can't. have to leave it there like that. I don't have a VJ anyway, so there's no VJ on the map. Right, let's um oh, hang on guys, I'm getting tangled up with cables here. Right, let's um look for a tractor. Uh well no contest really, I'm going with that one again. I like these tractors, I like Massey. Might as well take advantage of the new ones we got for free. We have it in the anniversary edition. Um, don't think we're going to need a front loader attacher. We'll have the GPS just in case. When we get fields, we'll need the GPS. Put that on as well. Zip. And now I want mowers. For now, because it's only a little area, um, yeah, because yeah, it's only a little area we've got at the moment. So I'm going to go with that one. And we're going to need a wind rower. Oh, wrong button. Let's have it in the massy colours. Massy.
massive black and we'll have them in massive white there we go lovely fine right oh let's turn that off let's move this out of the way park this over there for now and then we can get in there and get that grass cut wind road up and then possibly bailed up turn the truck truck off for a minute I will get rid of that um, stump grinder thing what do you think do you think I'm um, using the easy dev controls to get rid of stumps is cheating or what let me know in the comments guys if you think it is then we won't use it I know these are front mowers but they're going on the back grass mode it shouldn't take long it's only a little bit this is all the trees we've cut down so far Sheep and all of that. That one, which is 80 sheep, 250 sheep, and it is 180. That's not bad. See, that sub I need to get to quite frequently for food and water. Um, That's 100. That's 195. Try that one. These are some new ones. These are the fenceless ones. Because then that means that could sit right back there then. And it looked like they were roaming in the trees then, wasn't it? Ah, there we go. And it looked like they were roaming in the trees because I think. Just turn on the far shoes. I think you can turn that off, can't you? Yeah. No? Uh. Oh, they are high grid. It's the mouse button. There we go. And then it will look like that they are roaming. Get rid of that. Roaming in the trees. I like that. Uh, right, let's buy a ram. And we'll buy some sheep. Eat hay, grass, additionally. They require water, sheep, rather than are the mother of sheep which produce wool and can be sold. That does it up anyway. Let's see if we can fill it up. Plenty of money. There we go. Sit. Now if we go around here, there you go. 
Looks like they're roaming in the trees. I like that. Yeah. Well, forest sheep. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. I like that. They're roaming in the trees. Roaming in the wild. All we've got to do now is get the grass to feed them. Hopefully they don't take a lot, but we'll soon find out once we've mowed this grass and then we've got it windrowed up and then collected. I'll get a um, trailer to collect it. Or well, we could actually do bales, couldn't we? Do bales and take them over. We'll get a front loader, telehandler. Right, I'll be back guys once I've got this grass cut and windrowed up and then um, we'll get it baled and then we'll get it taken over to the sheep. So I'll see you shortly guys. Right, we're back guys. We've done the uh, windrow and just, uh, just setting up the baler now and we're going to bale these, this little bit of grass. Hopefully we'll get a few bales out of it. Enough to keep them fed for a little while hopefully. And then I've purchased the manatee to um, pick the bowels up. And I've got the magic bowel forks, or the cheeky bowel forks, whichever you want to call them. To me, they're um, handy bowel forks because they don't fall off, they just um, auto load onto the forks. I notice some YouTubers are calling them cheeky bowel forks, they're not cheeky. I just help those who can't um, use the uh, normal bowl forks because they keep bloody falling off. always like doing this, I like clearing an area, then cutting the grass and then cutting some more down because you can see where you are then and you don't lose logs in the long grass Just a little bit left now. Like I said, it wasn't a big, it wasn't a very big area. Big enough, but just enough to get us started on a few sheep. And then I need to clear another area um, at some point for a sell point because some of that area over there where the sawmill was, when we started building the farm I want to use for fields, I want to use for a field or I might just use that area to build our farm on not sure yet I think I might have the cow pen that's fenceless, fenceless as well. Oh, we didn't do it, don't want this. For a minute, I can park up there now. Let's go and grab some bales. Hopefully they take bales. Well, oh, they're going to need some water as well, so we've got to put in a water tap. Oh no, they don't, these ones do that. It was the other ones I was looking at. 
Pick up the rest. I'll come back to that one in a Hopefully over time I will uh, eat them. It didn't take a lot of food to start with anyway, that's for sure. And it took two bales. Did they take that? Oh, is that all? Hmm, okay. It's less, that's less than I expected. I expected them to want more than that. Okay. That's fair enough. At least they got some there, then we'll spare them. Right, guys, I'm going to call it an episode there. I'm going to continue. Um, I'm going to continue cutting down them logs, them trees, logs, mm -hmm. them trees where we where we've just cut the grass, and uh, in the next episode we're going to look at putting a field in and uh, get it um, planted up. So yeah, don't forget, guys, if you have enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like. Please hit the subscribe button, guys. It don't cost you nothing. It is free subscription and turn on the notification bell while you're there. Feel free to comment and I will see you all in the next one, guys. Bye for now.